All right, so in this video, I'm going to do a quick example of composition and aggregation. Um, so basically what we're talking about here is, so if I, uh, I'm gonna just create, let's say that I'm uh, modeling companies, you know, businesses. So maybe my company has a, uh, um, I'm gonna just make these, well, I'll do it the right way, I guess. So we'll do, uh, maybe the company has a name, right? And maybe it has a number of employees. Okay, it's probably has an address. Okay, whatever. So whatever, you know, attributes of the company you care about. Okay, and so then maybe the company has a CEO. All right. And so what we've done so far in this class is all of our attributes have been either simple types like string or int or things like that. Or um, I guess the most complicated we've got is that we've had um, arrays of strings and things, you know, so maybe you'd, maybe you'd have something like uh, private string employee names or something like that, okay? So with composition and aggregation, what we're talking about is we're talking about using other types of objects that we create as instance variables. So maybe in our company example, we want to keep track of the CEO. So we will make, we'll make a type called CEO and we'll say, you know, I guess we'll just, all right, so if I do this, that means I need to, e there, there either needs to be an object called CEO, an object type CEO that exists, or we have to go create one, okay? So maybe what we'll do is we'll go over here and we'll say, all right, I'm gonna do a public class CEO, okay? And for CEO, um, I don't know, maybe we wanna, we wanna keep track of his name probably, maybe we care about what his address is, uh, his age, um whatever things about maybe his salary that might be something we are interested in keeping track of how much does the ceo get paid okay so now we have this ceo class and we have this um, company class all right so i guess the main point with composition and aggregation are that we have an object and and as one of the instance variables one or more we have another object okay and so if I were to uh, if I were to go ahead and save this, okay, it says, oh, I can't find CEO, so I need to first go in here and save this guy. All right, so now that I have a CEO, then I can go in here and say, okay, now this now this compiles just fine. Okay, so I have this company that's comprised of a CEO. Okay, well, so I would presumably need to make some getters and setters. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do that really quick. So let's do public. Um, I guess in order to make this simple, I'm going to reduce, I'm going to remove address right here so that I just have a couple of things here to deal with. And for CEO, we'll, we'll just, the only thing we care about maybe is name and salary for right now, just so I don't have to do as much typing. All right, so. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and make the getters and setters. So we'll do public string get name, return name, public int get num employees, return num employees. Okay, now what about the CEO? Okay, so we'll do public CEO get CEO. Okay, and for now, we'll just do return CEO. All right, and then for my for our setters, we'll do uh, public void set name. We'll do uh, string n. And we'll just do uh, name equals n. We're not gonna do any error checking for right now. And then we'll do set num employees int n num employees equals n and set ceo and we'll this will accept a ceo object and we'll do ceo equals o okay so this is what we'll do for right now and this should compile just fine and it does okay and so now in our CEO, we'll do the same thing. So we'll do uh, 
public void get name her name uh, public void get salary return salary uh, this sh these shouldn't be void this should be a string and this should be a double and then we'll do public void set name uh, string n uh, name equals n and public void set salary uh, double s salary equals s okay so our CEO compiles our company compiles all right so now let's go ahead and actually try and use this okay so let's go ahead and make another class right here so we'll do public class simple public static void main string orgs okay so we want to create a new company so company c equals new company Okay, notice we haven't made a constructor yet for company, okay? So now, let's suppose that, let's go ahead and, I mean, we could create a constructor here to make this easier to do, but for now we'll just use our setter. So we'll do uh, uh, c.setName, we'll make this exon. Yeah, actually, we'll do like Facebook. Okay, and then we'll do C dot set num employees. I have no idea how many employees Facebook has, so let's just say it has 20,000, 10,000. I have no idea. Okay, and uh, now let's go ahead and set the CEO. Okay, well now wait. If we want to set the CEO, okay, the set CEO is expecting a CEO object, so we need to actually make of a CEO before we can do this all right so let's go ahead and jump over here and say all right CEO my CEO equals new CEO okay and uh, we haven't created a constructor or anything right here so let's go ahead and just use the setter so we'll do my CEO dot set name Mark Zuckerberg and my CEO dot set salary. Uh, that guy makes a lot of money. Let's let's make it uh, three hundred million dollars. Three hundred zero zero, whatever. Okay, I think that's all right. And so let's try and compile this. Okay. Oh, we made we made his salary too big. <laughs> All right, let's reduce it a little bit. And oh, okay, I've got syntax error here. Okay, so um, now that I have this CEO in this company, now I can just go ahead and do C dot set CEO, and I can pass in this my CEO. Okay. So the point of all this is that I have an object. And one of the instance variables inside this object company is another object, CEO, okay? And so I've defined this CEO right here, okay? And so I should be able to, okay? Now, we haven't really done anything interesting other than store a bunch of information that we hard-coded in. And so in the next video, I'm gonna go over sort of the implications of what it means to have an object as a instance variable or an attribute of another object, okay? In particular, it's going to have ramifications on the constructor, okay? We haven't written any constructors yet, so we'll be doing that next time. It could possibly have some ramifications on the equals method. It could have ramifications on the toString method. And we have some possible information hiding issues, sort of like when we had arrays as instance variables that we're going to need to deal with. 
So all of these things come into play when you start using more complicated objects as instance variables. All right, and obviously in this example for company, we could have had a lot more instance variables. We could have the address and we could have the industry and whatever else we wanted to keep track of for the company. And same thing for CEO. In addition to name and salary, you could have his address, phone number, social security number, who his secretary is, whatever you wanted to keep track of of the CEO, his age, his where he went to school, all of that kind of stuff, okay? But the point is, is that um, with composition and aggregation, the main idea is we're talking about an object that has as its instance variable another object type, okay? And all of the things that that entails. So in the next video that I have, we'll start getting into some of those issues.